Hi everyone, it's Rin, and this is the Art Struggle channel. Happy Spooktober! Today I decided to draw another illustration, but I put a little challenge on myself. So I decided to draw some unusual angle to work on my perspective. I was a bit inspired by my senpai, Carlos Dalmo. Dal Dalmo, I am so sorry, I have no idea how to pronounce it. They drawing stuff like that once in a while and I found that very interesting and just fun to look at. I also tried to limit myself to use a very restricted color palette and the kind of colors that I don't usually use in my drawing, just for funsies. I decided to not choose the color palette myself because I was probably gonna make the colors a bit too earthy because that's just what I like and I know that works good for me. But instead I used something that was already composed by someone else. So I picked this image from Boyfriend's webcomic by Ref Rainbow because I recently started to read this webcomic and I am in love. I want my pretty gay guy's harem right now. <laughs> Although you'll see later that I did end up using some other colors, mostly for skin, eyes and hair, so... Yeah, I kind of failed this one. But I still used probably a lot less colors than I would use normally. And I think it turned out pretty neat. I mean, when else you're gonna draw a hot pink blood? So I guess it's still a win for me. So I decided to draw a clinic. Uh, I don't know why, I just saw that image in my head and I think it fits nicely, this aesthetic of dirty horror clinics, but in pastel. <laughs> And I think it's because of The Clinic of Horrors by Mary Weatherly. Wow, a lot of webtoon references today and a lot of names I cannot pronounce. <laughs> Why isn't webtoon paying me for that? I also was visiting doctors a lot lately because of my autism diagnosis and I recently had a really bad back and arm pain, so I had to take break from drawing and overall using the computer, which made me really sad because I graduated this year and I decided to spend the whole summer on working on my channel. Well, that didn't turn out well. And now I don't have time anymore because I gotta find a real job. But I would like to invite you to my Twitch channel when I stream drawings every Wednesday 7pm London time. The channel name is Green Art Struggle, link is in the description. Anyway, about what is happening on the drawing, I don't really know. <laughs> I just had some idea. I asked my friends and my followers on Instagram what they think is happening while showing them a sketch of it. And most of them said something about the lady at the door being an anti-vaxxer. But like, she's a doctor too. You couldn't really notice that on a sketch. But yeah, she's a doctor too. <laughs> also for some reason while drawing this, I have completely forgot about the whole thing with vaccines right now. I don't know. I just wasn't thinking about that. <laughs> My own ideas were more like maybe they hired so Pyroman in the clinic and the doctor by the door is panicking about the fire while the one looking at the ceiling is more like Ugh, again, this is the third time this month already. I'm tired. They're not paying me enough to care. Or maybe, judging by the blood stains, the panicking doctor just stopped the serial killer doctor or slash and nurse. <laughs> Who knows, it can be anything. It's up for interpretation. Let me know in the comment what do you think. The interesting fact I noticed while drawing this is that whenever I draw more background focus art, I tend to cartoonify my characters a lot more than when I'm focused more on the character. And I think it makes sense since when I'm focused more on the character, I tend to pay more attention to anatomy and showing off my skills. <laughs> when with background focused art, I can make them less detailed and anatomically correct while still having the whole thing looks good. But I'm not very satisfied with it. I would like to learn how to make my characters look 
cartoony but also not need a background to look nice. <laughs> it's something I'm still working on, especially since I'm currently working on a comic and some of the shots will probably have just standalone characters with none or very simple backgrounds and I want them to look good but also I want them to be simple so I can draw them quicker. <laughs> so if you're a cartoon artist yourself and you have any tips, I'll be extremely thankful if you leave them in the comment section. But anyway, we're close to the end now. So I'm leaving you with the end result. I think it looks pretty nice. I am quite happy with how it turned out. Now it's been days since I finished it and I am staring at this for a long time now so I can see some perspective errors but overall I'm happy with this piece and it taught me a lot and gave me an opportunity to tell you about those great artists I like. If you didn't know them already because they are definitely bigger names than me, but shush. So don't forget about visiting my Twitch channel. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you liked it, leave a like if you like and see you in the next one. Bye!